so we had this little time-lapse intro uh, thanks to Dan. Uh, Dan gave me a really good idea and a really good comment that um, yeah, he prefers time-lapse and actually he makes time-lapse videos. You can find him in the comments and if it's not in the featured videos uh, section, he will be uh, after this episode as soon as I'm done recording because uh, he's he's really active member of community and at least follows my channel and I really really appreciate that um, he also gave me an idea like um, I'm widening the gap from the episodes I'm recording to when they are aired uh, currently is like two or three days and I don't need that for the foreseeable future I have no travels uh, planned so um, um i don't i don't want to have so big gap between the episodes when i record them because sometimes i comment on the news or the events or the mods that uh, i found find and uh, i would like to uh, share them with you guys as soon as possible so sharing something a week or two weeks in advance it's not really uh yeah, the best thing to do okay I have a really loud stream on my left, hopefully you guys are not bothered by that. But we are done weeding this field and uh, we're gonna go now and fold this one. It's already lifted, oh, we need to get off the field. Yeah, so Dan actually gave me a really good idea and I really uh, appreciate that. Um, uh, check out Dan's channel, definitely, uh, I, I love uh, he doesn't publish often, like uh, once or twice a week, uh, maybe often than that, more often than that. Sometimes, yes, when he has time, and I really enjoy his time lapses. And he's a quite smart guy, I must, I must say. So, I think this is a one way road, and I'm going in the opposite direction. Hmm. Right. So, um, this is really, really not good. Right, okay. No, oh, Fox. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this tractor here. I'm gonna run to the dairy farm and I'm gonna meet you guys there because um, off screen or, or in the next episode, I think we will be doing something similar to this. Let's just get out of here. Oh, yeah, probably off screen. I already uh, weeded two fields and this is the biggest one, so this is gonna take the most. Oh, the time lapse, exactly. Thank you, Dan. Uh, pigs also. Piggies. We need to consider what we're going to do with the piggies. Um, I'm really, really hoping I'm not going to grow corn in this map uh, because um, corn is not something that uh, Irish grow very often. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, I'm just going to run down to the dairy farm and I'll meet you guys in one second.
Now, welcome to the episodes of mistakes. Uh, first of all, we started as a time lapse. Second, I mean time lapse. Uh, we started as a no sound video. Second, we started as a. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make it a time lapse. Then we were doing some kind of work, and then again, I wanted to do something else. But again, I forgot to do the sound, so you got a second time lapse. And when I tried to explain what actually happened and I continue the recording, moving these bales, um, I noticed I didn't press the record button. <laughs> so uh, for last 12, 15 minutes or so, uh, I recorded nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> So, uh, unfortunately, guys, you haven't seen how I move these bales, and I love, love, love this bale grab. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait for another bale in session, which is gonna be quite often on this map. So, just as a punishment for you guys, you're gonna see another rolling of the field. So, definitely, let's recap this episode. It was part of the episode was weeding uh time lapse weeding and then normal weeding with commentary commentary uh then after that we had another um time lapse bail collection and then instead of explaining why we had a time lapse bail collection uh, i actually forgot to press record button so we removed all the bales from the field and uh, now i'm trying to explain to you what actually happened so you you saw time-lapse weeding, commentary weeding, and time-lapse, half of the time-lapse bale removal. And now, obviously, we're gonna have to roll this field. Yeah, uh, until I find out, do a bit more research. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I'm gonna be doing uh, a rolling of the fields uh, after every uh, mowing, uh, because we need to roll the field to have to flatten all the mole holes, mole hills, uh, all the dips uh, on the field, so it's good for the next uh, mowing session. Um, and I think this is a really, really, really good uh, way in increasing the fertilizing stage of the field. So um, I'm, I'm really happy about these rollers. Um, Rainbow Dave is doing um, uh, rolling as well. I was just watching today his live stream. And, and th this morning I watched his episode. Um, he has a roller, you can download it from FSUK, where he actually um, uh, in does the 100% uh, fertilizing stage increase. I don't know if he is running on three stage fertilizing or not. Uh, currently I am. Uh, but if he is, uh, yeah, like um, I found that on, um, the Terra Italica map, we had a lot of uh, wheat, uh, the grass fields, and boy, uh, fertilizing those fields every, like two times a season, two times a, uh, a year, or two times a cut, so four times a year, fertilizing uh, grass fields, it's a long winded job, a long, long winded job. So, uh, as much as you can cut down, or like, let's say I'm playing with uh, three fertilizing stages, for me, for recording, if I want to uh, do a realistic recording, I'm gonna have to um, record every one of those fertilizing, like spreading, or this kind of rolling, or everything. It's like really long with a job, and easily becomes one of the most boring jobs on the map um, I mean, people would say like yeah plowing but plowing you do one year and then for three years you don't have to do it at least not on that field and then you can actually make a worker do it well we can make a worker do this as well but four times a year plowing doesn't matter how small the plow is you just do it once every three years on a, on a single field right um should we do up and down the field? No, let's go down and on the downside we're gonna start going uh, upwards. Yeah, so there you go. This is our episode today. Um, episode of mistakes. The, something similar is probably gonna be the name of this episode. I think this Shamrock Valley is a cursed map for us. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna make this farm work, work uh, even if it kills me. 
uh, we are doing something that it's kind of, I wish it's an end game of farming simulator where you actually rotate the crops, you rotate the, um, uh, the man you get the manure from your pigs and the sheep and the cows and uh, uh, digestate from the biogas plant and you don't have to use like chemical fertilizers, you just circle the, the byproducts of the farming um around the map so uh, that's kind of what i think would be the end game uh where you don't have to spend money on fertilizers and uh, sprayers where you actually just use all of your stuff that you produce with your well farming biogas production <coughs> sorry uh yeah so we are gonna finish rolling this field and let's talk about the past present and the future uh, so we are still in the process of uh, purchasing all the stuff we need um, we have around 588,000 which is believe me guys it's probably not gonna be enough we might even go on, well, I don't know if we have a loan probably we have even a loan I'm just gonna lift the roller actually I don't think we have to lift the roller it's I'm just gonna keep it down yeah, so uh, we're gonna have to buy a lot of cows, some sheep. Um, also, we're gonna have to. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, we have a potato harvester. We need to buy. We need to buy. Oh, oh possibly we can actually even rent that. I don't mind doing that. Um, cultivator. I don't think we have any cultivator at the moment uh, we're gonna need it in the in the autumn what else uh trailers yeah trailer no we have we have the the red rock trailer uh for we're gonna have also a silage trailer probably we'll see if we're gonna have um silage uh collector the um, the small uh, toad um silage pickup uh, I'm not really sure if we're gonna have it or not, but we're gonna work on it. Um, I'm gonna do some testing which one is the most compatible with the tractors and the trailers because those, if you tow uh, a silage pickup uh, in the back of a tractor and trailer behind that, uh, you have an issue where the shoot doesn't shoot uh, directly into the trailer but actually. Um, even though the trailer is not full it stops loading because the trigger on the trailer is too far back and the um, pipe cannot reach it so you have a half filled trailer usually it's not half like 80 percent 90 percent 70 percent doesn't matter but it's still creating some issues yeah so me rambling around about uh, issues with the mods well, actually, this is what Farming Simulator is for me. I would like to share my experiences and the, the way I'm doing stuff. And uh, I don't know if it's understandable or not. Uh, but uh, I had issues with uh, Massey Ferguson pickup and also the John Deere uh, forage pickup. Uh, but also when you combine it with some trailers, it can actually work. I have to do a little bit of experiment. I think I'm going to do that during the weekend. Now it's thir Thursday when I'm recording this. And in a couple of days I'm going to do some research how we can do this better. Because uh, as I said to Dan in the comment section, in Ireland most of the silage, most, not all of it, you get is from um, uh, bales. Uh, you have silage pits and I saw them myself but the uh, majority of the fields are smaller farms which they don't have a bunkers or clamps so they usually have to um, bale um, uh, the grass and they then it or whatever and then it ferments into the silage so and also as far as i remember in ireland uh, most of that stuff even they have crones class um, forage harvesters and lifts and the pickups the big ones 
so uh, you can have those but usually in Ireland they rent them you have companies who have those that machinery and uh, you can rent it from them so yeah uh, I think we uh, maybe if we when we buy more fields we might uh, rent those forage harvesters but at the moment we won't be doing that we are gonna bail everything or maybe get a um, pickup wagon but we're definitely not gonna be renting and chrome big x anytime soon uh or new holland we'll still see which ones we're gonna have because for we're not gonna be using silage harvesters the corn harvesters uh because um we're not be go gonna be growing corn on this map for obvious reasons no <laughs> because um uh chrome doesn't grow that corn <laughs> chrome uh corn doesn't grow that well in ireland so we're gonna avoid that right okay uh, we have a couple of passes left here and obviously by the tone of my voice again i'm not the most chipper guy in the room no oh, i'm the only guy in the room but like um yeah i'm a bit tired -ish. so i would like to um uh, take this episode out of its misery and try to edit tonight this episode while well, it's still fresh so I don't have to do it tomorrow with me forgetting what we did so I'm gonna do it tonight and just let it render during the evening anyway guys this is it how are we gonna call it it's gonna be called you already already know it's gonna be called mistakes have been made I think that's a perfect name for this episode it perfectly describes what we did today mistakes after mistakes anyway guys thank you for watching click that subscribe button click the like button and leave some nice comments in the comment section and oh yeah the little bell ring it you're gonna get notified every time we have episode out and that's every day 6 a.m gmt and uh, probably probably after this weekend uh, more than once a day uh, i mean normal episodes plus we're gonna have the the news from giants and stuff like that uh, whenever i have time to record anyway guys thank you for everything have a nice day and see you tomorrow bye bye